Many students believe that as we listen to sound, sound waves propagate through air and push or scoop the air particles towards our ears. Do you agree with them? If the waves carry the particles of the air along, then these particles will accumulate into your ears and pressure will build up in your ears. You would also feel fast wind blowing into your ears when someone talks loudly. Do these happen to you? As sound waves propagate through air, air particles move left and right about their undisturbed positions. Although air particles seem to be free to move, interaction forces exist between them. They tend to push each other as they bump with each other. These forces cause the air particles to return to or near their undisturbed positions after the waves have passed. The waves do not carry the particles of the medium, but they carry energy as they propagate. Water waves propagate as a combination of transfers and longitudinal waves. The particles of water move in elliptical orbits as the waves propagate. Objects that you put on the water surface will appear to bob up and down and move left and right on the water surface, but do not go far from their original positions. Just observe how this ball moves. Look at the wave crest that approaches the ball. Did you notice that the ball was left behind by the advancing crest? Every day, lots and lots of water waves reach the shore carrying energy, but only water near the shore gets there. The rest of the water in the sea do not reach nor accumulate to the shore. Just remember this. Waves carry energy as they propagate from one point to another but they do not carry along the particles of the medium.